Okay, this little unit on the table just in the foreground here is actually an item called Fake TV. It's a little electrical product. Its model number is FTV-10. And if you look at the faketv.com website, it explains it a little bit better. But um, what I find, and I've had this for a few years now, what I find is this works really well at shining uh, onto a curtain from the inside of a house. So let's say in the bedroom upstairs, you've got a room that you often have a television on and you're going away and you want to give the illusion that you're still at home. So if you have this unit on a timer and there's also a light sensor on it, I'll go through a few other details when we get closer into, in, in on the unit, but you can then have this unit doing its clever little blinking lights. I'm going to dim the lights so you can see it better. So what you can see there is it's doing all kinds of pulsing and flashing and actually through curtains. Now I'm just reflecting off a rear wall here. So you can see it um, bouncing around the uh, dining room wall. There's some chairs and a radiator. It's flashing blues and reds and greens and white light in a seemingly random pattern. But what it's actually doing is emulating really clever kind of uh, light reflections you get from a darkened room that's got a television on. So it doesn't create any sound. So if you want to create the full illusion, maybe you need to also have a radio on, etc. in the room. Uh, if you've got a problem where sound uh, is also important to you, but certainly for an upstairs bedroom where somebody would normally in the house at late at night have a television on a few hours before going to bed, this unit on a timer does a fantastic job. And uh, certainly for the last three years, every time we go away, um, this, is, this is something that we have as an additional kind of deterrent to, uh, to give the illusion that we're still at home and the ho house is occupied. So it's a really neat trick. It's not an expensive item. It costs about 25, 30 pounds. You can still get this. It uh, won an award uh, three, four, five years ago when it was done. Now what I'm gonna do is try and turn it to the camera. Hopefully it's not gonna blind the camera. So I'm gonna just turn it around. And what you can see here, beyond this rather snazzy disco disco lens, You've got quite a few colors here. So you've got a mixture of green LEDs, blue LEDs, white and red. And the combination of these lights coming on and off is what creates this illusion of light in a pattern where it actually creates and emulates a kind of a, a television flashing image picture. And uh, it's quite mesmerizing. It's not the kind of thing I'd uh, stare at and look at a great deal. I'm just gonna raise the lights at the moment. Okay, and then we can look at the unit in a little bit more detail. Now what you've actually got on the back, so this is the back, so not only have you got the label, you've also got an off switch, so there's me turning it all the way to the left, so that unit is turned off, which is turn on another light. You can see that a lot more clearer now. So you've got here uh, a few positions on this switch, all the way to the left is off. You then have this option, single position, where it says dusk plus four hours. Another option, another switch option, dusk plus seven hours, and then all the way to the right, and then it's on. So again, I can turn that around in straight away, you can see that the lights are on. Now, what you've got to the right of the switch is a little sensor that is this dusk switch. So what I'm gonna do is just put it under the dusk settings, turn the unit around, and what you can see, just so you know the unit is powered on and waiting for dusk, you've got two little blue LEDs showing there. So you can show, you can see that it's, it's absolutely waiting for the sensor to be covered for a period of time. So as the room then gets dark, I'm now covering it with my finger. Now it's got a very sensible amount of time it waits so it doesn't just get tricked by a passing cloud, etc. So it can be a few minutes before it then triggers. But absolutely, I've tested this and keeping this covered for a few minutes and the unit will then come to life and start behaving as you saw earlier, where it comes on and starts broadcasting this semi-random but very cleverly designed pattern of lights to to uh, mimic in effect to you know give the illusion of a television in the uh, in the house and then either four hours or seven hours depending on the option you've picked it will then turn itself off until the next day and run a cycle exactly the same way now that's obviously relying on the the uh, the light in the room um, I find this unit works the best when the curtains are drawn so like I say upstairs in a bedroom and I use a timer to do that. So these are just options that the unit has. I personally find a timer um, on the uh, power switch and it's a small little transformer, just bring it in here on the, on the right hand side there. I've just got it plugged into my little power block that I use on the table. And uh, it's, it's nothing more than the size of a, of a telephone charger. It doesn't take any more power. Obviously a three pin plug for the, uh, for the UK option you've got here. But uh, equally this little device, if you are able to uh, sort out yourself a little power supply, let me just unplug this so you can see that at the end it's just a very, very simple, very, very basic normal power connector there, as you can see. And uh, if you get the right bulbs, the right polarity, you better make this little unit run in any country. So faketv.com, it's a really great unit, use it for years, and uh, uh, it, it really does, from the outside of the house, does absolutely look like there's a television on in the room.